My lab is the Modular Biomaterials Lab, and so what that means is we sort of build parts that can go together, so much like the way that Legos go together. And so what we want to be able to do is using um, these modular building blocks that can be mixed and matched and put together in different ways, it allows us to control things like the biochemical cues, the physical cues, the surface chemistry, all of those sorts of things that you want to be able to tune in a biomaterial that's going to interface with cells. What I'm very interested in is in how cells interact with the biomaterial, how we can make biomaterials that direct our bodies to do what we want them to do. So scaffolds, you can think of it as the same way that you would think about scaffolding that you put up to fix a building. We're doing the same thing with these tissues. We're putting up scaffolding that gives support to cells so that the cells can figure out how to fix themselves, how to fix the tissue, how to regenerate whatever they need to regenerate. So you're giving support to these tissues and to these cells and telling them, hey, this is what you're supposed to do here, this is what you should do here. Um, you need to build the tissue that you need to build in the site. So it's sort of like a little home for cells. So you're giving them little apartment buildings, little um, places to live and telling them how to live their life a little bit. I was very surprised about how hard it is to work with cells and to characterize them and to figure out what they like, figure out what they don't like, figure out what are the exact specific things that you need to give them for them to do what you intend them to do or what you think they're gonna do. It's awesome once you think about the big picture and you see the results and you see where it's going. We respect the fact that our tissues are multi-component. We respect the fact that the tissues are organized in very specific ways and that that has a lot to do with the function of a tissue. And so if we know all of that, why are we not making our biomaterials also have all of those properties as well? And so what we're really trying to design are these materials that elicit this behavior, specific cellular behavior, a specific tissue formation, the way that nature intended it to be, because nature figured out how to make it functional, so why not just make the tissue functional?